Patty Circuit. She was easy. Easy for you. I had to stop in between because Colby woke up, put her back to sleep, and I finish it. Cool down. 2.08 a.m. Morning. Happy Thursday. Tomorrow is my birthday. So today is Veda Day 5. Although technically it is August 4th. Dylan and Colby are awake. The girls are still sleeping. We were supposed to go fishing early, early this morning um, to catch the high tide, but it just didn't happen. We would have had to leave like 6.37 in the morning. You know, I slept really late as usual, and um, the kids were tired from yesterday as well. So we'll just do that another day, maybe next week, but um, I don't know what we'll do today. It's a really nice day. It's not as hot as it's been. It's crazy that we, we lost our air condition. It was like the hottest week, the most humid and hottest week here in the 90s, which made it feel like over 100 because of the humidity. But luckily, it's really nice today, and I really don't want to go out out because tomorrow's my birthday, and I'm trying to just be conservative of spending and going out. You know, we went to the city yesterday. Although it was a free event, you know, you still spent for gas, toll. You know, we got some food on the way home, and um, I don't know yet what we're doing exactly tomorrow. I kind of want to go to the beach just to relax, to relax and stuff. Brian offered to cook. So we'll see. Anyway, I got this a few packages, and I'm going to unbox it now. On, ooh. I'm going to unbox it now on Snapchat. Just unbox these. This is the Dreamland Tooth Fairy Fort. Dreamland Fairy House. It's like arts and crafts that they can make their own fairy houses, um, wooden tree houses. So, super cute. The girls are going to like that. Also from Juicy Juices, their new juices. I don't know if you guys knew they had these little pouches. I usually get like these big things, but I didn't realize they had all of these until we went to a back to school event. Okay, Colby. You want to see what you got? Are you mad? I'm almost done. She just wants to be on the camera. Splashers, organic juice. They have the organics line and their 100% juice line. Those are going to be great for back to school. I'm going to incorporate those into a video. Um, and then Emlyn got her shoes from Famous Footwear. These Nike, teal Nike sneakers. Oh, God, they're so pretty and lightweight. So I can't wait till Dylan's comes in too so we could do our little picture ready with our sneakers. It's been the best purchase we've made from two years ago. Was that 2014? Because it's now doubling as Colby's playmat to, to learn to crawl. <laughs> hey, you want to crawl? You want to crawl? You want to crawl? No, oh, hi guys. I'm gonna crawl now. Wow. Wow. Let me get your toys. There she goes. There she goes. Colby. Go for it. Come here. Come here, Mama. Come here. Getting used to it now. Boom. You're kissing Kuya. Are you playing with Kuya? He's trying. Hey, he's trying to grab you. <laughs> Is it fun, Colby? Oh, you think it's funny? I'll show you, honey. And 
did I get you? How did I get you? <laughs> I want to get you. We're going to look back on this one day, guys. Kobe, you don't want to give Koi a kiss? <laughs> she wants to grab your face. We just got another package and it is the Hallmark Itty Bitties. Do it yourself, Itty Bitties. So they can make their own. We had a bunch of them that we got around the holidays. They were like Elsa, Anna, we got some Star Wars ones. But these ones, they can just make their own. So, I gotta see what supplies we have here. So we're gonna do like a DIY video and show you guys what we create, basically. Anybody can make their own itty bitties. So cute, they're fa child safe. Oh, you have to use, sorry, child safe fabric markers to create your own design. Use watercolors for crayons for skin tone and you add clothes and hair. Oh my gosh, the girls are going to like doing this especially. Funny, I'm trying to take a picture of them to post with their laptop. It's a Colby case. I told them don't look and then Colby's staring right at the camera. So funny. I'm going to take a picture of you now with your headphones. Well, here at the dance school, I sent Emily in with um, their friend that we picked up and Dylan because Colby's asleep. I'm gonna have to carry this carrier, it's so heavy. <laughs> there it is, it is now 8.38, we're leaving the dance school. Where did you find? Oh, those are the fillets that were eating. Dylan, Dylan, stop eating rice. Nice. Thanks for telling us, Dylan. Thanks for the announcement on video. <laughs> Fish and rice. Mommy got a package. Before I open this on Snap, I wanted to show in the vlog how pretty this is. The packaging. So Tried this before. These products. So cute. I'm excited. So today was kind of boring. I didn't get to vlog much. It was just a regular normal day other than we got more packages than usual. And I had to take the baby with me today alone and had all the kids there and I couldn't really get any work done on the computer because she wouldn't let me put her down. I had extra stuff to do because it's registration now so I had extra stuff to do from yesterday and today so we stayed a little later like an hour later than I had hoped but I got everything done the kids helped me they're so great and it's just been really boring so sorry I didn't really vlog much but honestly I feel like really I, I really didn't vlog much because I've been emo today it's just been kind of I'm even being like a baby about it, but every time it's around my birthday, I get, I don't want to say depressed. I don't get depressed. I just reflect a lot. I, I reflect a lot and I start to think negatively, you know, like those kind of thoughts where, where did I think I was going to be at this age and how come I'm not there yet and why, 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 why kind of whiny stuff instead of what I know I should be thinking and being thankful, being thankful for this rough year since last year with Brian's diagnosis, with him, yeah, all his stuff and with being pregnant and having the baby, that's such a huge blessing and, you know, with rough times there is always good so I have to remember that and see all the good that has happened within this past year of my 35th year before turning 36. Despite the struggles, 
there was always a light at the end of the tunnel and even though you know I may not be where I want our family to be at this point in life um we have each other we have our health and that is really what matters the most and everything else will fall into place when it's when God you know makes it knows when it's meant to fall in place so anyway getting a little bit too uh deep there but I guess I'm just reflecting since I'm an hour away from my 36th birthday so praying tomorrow will be a great day with the family and I hope you guys are enjoying your vlogs thank you for supporting us and I will see you Cracking your knuckles. <laughs> Cracking your knuckles.